Now, Sean Michael Cox is the Ac Director of Academic Affairs and International Programs at Bachashir University here in Istanbul. He joins me now live in the studio. Thanks so much for coming in. It may be a non-binding resolution, but the condemnation is, is so clear. I mean, how much longer can Trump actually withstand the pressure now for him to specifically condemn Mohammed bin Salman himself? Well, although it is a non-binding resolution coming uh, just after the Senate joint resolution that moved forward last week and will likely go into the House, it's actually very significant. It's also significant not only that it talks about the murder of Khashoggi, but it also lays out an argument for why Mohammed bin Salman is in fact responsible or influential in a variety of other areas that Saudi Arabia has been involved with, the war in Yemen, the blockade of Qatar, the jailing of activists and dissidents. So it is in fact a lot of pressure that the White House is now facing. Mm -hmm. And what about the sanctions that they want implemented? I mean, how serious are they and how would they fundamentally change the relationship between the U.S. and Saudi? Um, as long as the Trump administration maintains its position that they will not take action against Saudi Arabia, the calls for sanctions by the Senate will not really have much traction. Mm -hmm. It's only if the Trump administration feels that the pressure is too much and they need to finally address something will then some action be taken and likely it's, very, it's likely to be very little at, initially. Okay, initially. Uh, but given that the, the pressure keeps building. Saudi just keeps hoping this case will go away and it just does not. And momentum actually is starting to build yet again it seems. Given all this, what do you really think now is the end game for Mohammed bin Salman? That's actually a very difficult question because I, I've never seen a scenario like this before. There have been so many things that Saudi Arabia has been involved in in the Middle East and, and the United States support for Saudi Arabia has been continuous and very strong, especially under the Trump administration, to see one man suddenly pop up and be held responsible for everything. It's like a cascade of events that are impacting him. I, I can't imagine that his father would remove him as his status as the crown prince, but he's likely to have to step back and get out of the limelight, the limelight that he so, uh, uh, so quickly grabbed when he was appointed as crown prince. Okay. Complex question for you. Part of this is about getting justice for Jamal Khashoggi's murder. Another part is about political maneuvering. What do the main players involved here really want to get out of this case politically, ideally? Well, if you look at, from the Senate perspective, this non-binding resolution was introduced by partisan six senators. Those Feinstein and Coons, uh, for example, have always, have Democrats and have been against Trump and his administration from the beginning. But on the Republican side, we see Lindsey Graham suddenly jumping in, throwing his hat into the ring against Trump. Now, he's had a very inconsistent relationship with Trump over the last several years. But what it seems like that's going on is that the Senate is trying to reestablish itself as an equal pillar of power within the United States government. Mm -hmm. Rather than let Trump run away with everything, they're trying to say, we're here, we have a voice, and you need to listen to us as well, which is an important role that the Senate and Congress as a whole does play. Okay. Sean Michael Cox, unfortunately, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks so much for coming in.